Hey everybody. Okay, so this is just a quick basic walkthrough of Meta Um So basically once you go to the, the website, you log in with your details, uh, it'll open up, give it some time, it takes a while, especially if you've got a crappy internet, and then go to create up on the top and it gives you a whole list of ones that you can start with. Um, so choose the template that's best for you and we can begin. I'm hearing an echo in the, the what are they called? Earphones. Um, so select the template you want. Once you select the template you've, you want, there's a little button at the bottom. Create selected. And this now creates your MetaHuman, your template to start with. Now. Everything is on the left hand side, your menus. On the top here, you can choose the quality. Now this is uh, kind of gives you like a unreal render, real time. Here you can choose the different lighting. This is nice to have actually just to check your lighting and stuff. <coughs> Sorry, if you hold L and, and uh, left click of your mouse button, you can change the direction of your light. There, on the right hand side gives you hotkey references that's amazing look at it um, when you start to blend you can choose different faces and put them in slots and then you get these little circles everywhere and this blends between the characters that you have chosen which is very powerful so each of these dots on his face you can blend to match uh, between the faces that you've put in there it shows you the exact same diagram and wherever you move those little dots is where your character is and obviously the more closer to the center is the original character that you chose very straightforward very easy very visual you also get those three dots and uh, those dots in between each character that you put there and that allows you to add even more characters so you can have even more uh blends uh, between different characters, which is pretty damn cool. I didn't see how many you can use, but it looks like you can use as many as you want. 18 million. No, I don't know. I'm sure there's a limit. Now over here, skin. You can add the type of skin. Is it old? Is it young? Is it, uh, you know, whatever you want. You can drag that skin, the texture, and it adds a different texture, which is awesome. Look at that. It just adds a little bit of age. You know what I mean? I always mess with the lights. I always hold down L, uh, left click and drag, and you can drag around the lights just to have a look at what it looks like at different angles, different different lighting setups. It's really cool. Um, sculpting. So that little button there in the, in the viewport, just under that face, it looks like a finger or I don't know what it is. But this allows you to sculpt different points. So this, is, this isn't using your morphs anymore. This is literally just sculpting multiple points and the cool thing is you can switch on and off symmetry so they can be different you'll see this a little later but uh for now you can just drag all these little points around and create way more detail of of how you see the character so that's that's quite cool that is really cool and you get lots of points um this little button here, this little movie button, this is kind of uh, averaging. So it takes, it's like a group of multiple points that you can drag around and sculpt on a lot, on a lot more broader, uh, broader way, which is pretty cool. I mean, this for like, you know, big details, tracking multiple points. This is cool. Um, <coughs> and then there we go. You can have symmetry. Um, oh, sorry, this is just your planes, your closest plane. You don't really need to touch that. It's just the different planes of what it's on. So it, it'll average out a plane from the center or from that point that you're pulling. Um, and then you can go down to skin. You can take off the hair or hide the hair, hide the textures, uh, hide the hotkey references, all from the top there. But over here, you can delete and you can add different heads if you're not happy with it. Everything is non-destructive. You can always go back and change anything, which is powerful. 
Um, so now we're getting a bit of a character, you know, we put on some, look at that man, isn't that cute? Um, change the tones, freckles, I mean, I love this, eh? A little bit of red, a little bit of red on the cheeks, you know, not too much, not too much, looks weird. Um, eyes, once again, just flawless eyes, when eyes hit, uh, when light hits those eyes, Wow, we. Uh, there's a lot of options that still need to come, I'm sure. I mean, it's not 100% customizable, but at the moment, there are a lot of options. Uh, here we go, you can even check the little things about the eyes. You don't even see these details unless you're so close up on the eye. Uh, so they do have some cool options. Um, but like I say, uh, a lot of them, you know, you are still missing and, and some you still need to be really close. I mean, you can change everything about this, about the, the little eyes and stuff, but these are for real close-up shots. And this is amazing because you can get that close to these things. It's incredible. Um, so yeah, I mean, you can change a lot of these, uh, whatever is eyes. There's a lot of options on the eyes and it's, it's pretty cool. Mess around with the teeth. Look at the teeth. I love these teeth. Look at all the options that you got for these teeth. It's ridiculous. Yeah. But incredible. This is the most accurate teeth I've seen, you know, compared to like Daz or the Gums character creator. This is what they did. They did well. Everything you see here, they did well. And this allows, look at the muscles pulling that mouth. Everything works correctly. Man, I love this kind of thing, eh? So this is just like a real cool overview of how to use MetaHumans, all the menus. I mean, you don't even need to watch this. It's very self-explanatory. You can put makeup on your characters and, uh, you know, give them that Viking kind of a look. Hey, Tay, bro, Tay, or whatever it is. Salt and pepper, okay? Gonna add a bit of that salt and pepper in the face and the eyes. And the hair. My god, the hair. Look how perfect it is, eh? What they did, they did well. Like I said, it's the baby stages of these kind of things, but if you love characters and you hate making them yourself, I mean, a character like this, what, months? Months to do by yourself? Absolutely months. To do something this good, the modeling, the texturing, the... Uh, topology, the hair, the rigging, the controls, which are all in there, faces, eyes, I mean, everything they've done, you can make within a couple of minutes now, for free. Uh, it's ridiculous. I mean, they really have set the bar for what you can get, you know, for free, and it's the top, the best of the best. It's incredible. So, I mean, I use multiple other programs like Daz Character Creator and things like this, but damn, the microtransactions, you know, you are supporting creators, which is awesome. Um, but this, this kind of a thing is just, it's next level. It's 100% next level. Look at that. You've got the, you got such options about coloring the hair, the face, the freckles, uh, down to the, these things, what are they called? Brows. You've got absolute control over these things. Like, like I say, these are your options. It would be nice to be able to sculpt them yourself or whatever, so you can get a certain look. But what they've given you here is incredible. See that? That's incredible. Pitch is perfect. Um, but yeah, it's amazing. There's the body. You can change what you want to the body. Sure. I mean, it's limited. Very limited at the moment, but as it goes, it gets a little better. As things go, it does get better. Eyelashes, I mean, how many eyelashes do you need? I mean, sure, it would be nice to overdo things and get characters and caricaturas. I don't know how to say it. But at the moment, you've got enough options to create very different characters. There's a ton that still needs to come into this, I'm sure. But this is the baby version. It's the... It's the alpha, the beta, which is 
there for us to try and start using. And if they start, I mean, a clever idea would be attaching this to other libraries. People have done incredible things like the DAS library. There's no uh, library I've seen in my life, which is more diverse than that clothing. If they can get clothing into this, hack it in there, people, hack it in there. Far equals five, far equals five. Look at this lighting. Look at the kind of moods you can get here. Man, this is incredible, hey? The lighting reacts with what they've done so well. The hair feels like hair. The skin feels like skin. But that hair is just, it's mind-blowing. The materials on that is so good. And once you export these things, you get these shaders. You can use these shaders on other characters. As long as you're using, like, groom or you're using proper, you know, your skin or whatever, it all works. It all works. Clothing, limited, okay? It's limited, but you can still get some nice looks from it. It's fine. This, if they can connect to the Daz library, that is thousands upon thousands upon thousands of incredible... Uh, it's a wardrobe. Uh, down from glasses to armor to dresses to skirts to shirts to anything you can think of especially accessories as well it is ridiculous if they can link that far equals five it people far equals five it uh then this is crazy uh the things they do do well in character uh, in metahuman is the materials the material of the cloth is perfect the coloring of the cloth is perfect everything they have done here they've done well so if it somehow could convert those daz into this using these materials or these textures well materials uh you sorted man it'll turn those daz objects into something absolutely dynamic and incredible um i mean they they're more for software rendering those so if it can use these materials which it would i think then it starts creating some powerful things for uh real time rendering i mean the jeans the fade look at the fades on these things sure you can screw it up a bit like you see me there but uh look how accurate the colors get it's it's incredible actually so i guess that's it if you enjoy doing like humans and you enjoy messing around with these kind of things like i love character creators i love creating characters and i love being able to get the exact character i want now this is far from that it it takes it an, a different approach but it doesn't have that flexibility yet of creating anything or everything but like i say it's just started let's see where it goes i think this is just the baby this uh this will turn into a beast i think later especially if we can start leveraging other other programs that have already done this you know i've done a million things for it uh, like the accessories clothes shoes uh, things like that but uh the actual characters itself i mean you can get some interesting looking characters look you're not going to get any sci-fi or fantasy characters out of this monsters and ghosts and things uh, but you can get incredible characters. Now, this is quite cool. You get like these things at the bottom there. You see those one, two, three, four, five little tabs under that pause button, under the character. You can select different ones in each of these tabs. They all got the same options, but you can select different ones. And then they become quick keys that you can tap, you can click, and you can get, the, get it to go into a different expression or different movement very quickly. And this is quite cool. This is quite cool for just checking out your character really quickly. So they all do the same thing at the bottom. Uh, don't worry about that. All five of those tabs, exactly the same. You can just pick them to do different things and they become quick keys just to jump around and see what your, see what your dude looking like. Look at that. Look at that dude, man. He cute. Mm. So that's it. I mean, <laughs> I love <laughs> this kind of stuff. This blows me away, man. So this is a quick overview of MetaHuman. Human. I am human. Zim. So that's what I love about this too. The deformations are incredible on these humans. They have done it right. You know, like most other characters, you bend an arm and it becomes like two centimeters or something. Or things don't uh, bend correctly. They have done their homework 
this works. It all looks good. And when you zoom in onto an eye of another character, you can always tell there's something wrong. Meshes don't connect properly. The little lecherima, lecher, 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 I don't know what the name is, but uh, something looks wrong. These have been created damn well. They have done a great job. These are LODs. So in games and stuff, you need LODs. When a character is very far, you're gonna use something like this. Not close, obviously. But you'll export your zero LOD and it'll export all the other LODs for it. Um, but damn, man, if you're doing cinematics or something, these are the characters you want. Also, mm, I, I, they, they don't support Nanite yet. But uh, so you can't just use this in a game. Maybe cutscenes, sure. But you're not going to use these kind of characters in a game. You'll use a little bit less. You can see there, go back. Nothing's destructive. You can always go back, change a few things. Put more characters add different uh settings nothing is destructive it, you can change anything and you're not going to mess things up it's incredible and that's it that's uh how you get a really cool character that's just a quick overview i mean uh, uh, anyone can use this it's it's that basic um but messing with your light and doing cool things is just it's fun man you can have a lot of fun put dramatic lights on the on the dude look how cool you can make these kind of things and this i'll take us like a thumbnail quick look how cool that is Boom, baby they are beautiful they are beautiful the hair blows me away one of the most and the expressions the amount of joints that run that drive this face is incredible anyway once you've done it you can literally go back and you can start making another one right off the bat easy as that and that's it that's your metahumans. Once you've done that, you can open up bridge and you'll find them in the bridge and you can just follow any other tutorial or in my other video how to import them, but it's very self-explanatory. So enjoy it. And I guess the last step is once you're done with all of this, uh, you can just exit metahuman. It's, uh, it's just a website and you can open up your bridge either in Unreal 4 or 5. Now the ones you create in there are Unreal 5. So here's the bridge, go down to your metahumans and you'll see UE4, it's not in there, UE5, there they are. So I'm not sure how you make it compatible to UE4, it's probably in the settings, but that's it. Thanks, have a good one.